Megachurch New Creation has just bought the entire Star Vista Mall for almost $300 million and it says it has no plans to raise funds for this. The church owns the Star Performing Arts Centre, which is a space for the church's services that doubles as a concert venue located in the Star Vista Mall. It is the richest religious group in Singapore in terms of donations collected, going by checks done by ST. Last year, it collected $122 million in donations and it has $633 million in total funds and reserves. And here with us today, we have ST journalist Go Yen Han. Hello. Hi. Thanks for coming down uh, to share more with us. Now, we're going to talk about a big number here. It's $300 mm -hmm. million. Dollars, and uh, New Creation says it's not going uh, to raise funds. So looking at its reserves and, you know, last year's donations, is this a surprising thing? I don't think it's particularly surprising. So they have $633 million in the total funds and reserves. And last year alone, they managed to raise uh, 122 in donations and offerings. So I, um, and also when they first built the PAC, the Performing Arts Centre, many years ago, I think after two years after it was built, the church actually said that the entire about $500 million debt had been paid off. So I think the church is quite secure in knowing that they have the financial capability to fund this new purchase. Yeah, and ST also reported earlier this year that New Creation is basically the biggest religious fundraiser here in Singapore. And if you compare to any other fundraiser, it's only second to NUS. Mm. Yeah. That's, that is a, a lot of money uh, being thrown around. So would you say there are any concerns about a church sort of going into business? Mm -hmm. So we spoke to some experts who say it's not exactly usual for a church to go into the property business, but ultimately it is up to the church and their members on how, how they feel about this. So... Um, the experts also noted that the deal was actually carried out by the business arm, so they should have done some due diligence before making this you know, uh, big, big purchase. Yeah. And the Commissioner of Charities actually said, so he has actually earlier this year highlighted something about charities going into business. So this time he said that he will be seeking f further clarification from the church and its board as to whether they have the checks and uh, safeguards you know, when making this purchase. So exactly what he said, he said, you know, the governing board members of charities are responsible for the proper use of charitable assets and should act in the best interest of these charities. So before engaging in business activities, the charity board should conduct due diligence checks where appropriate to ensure the charity's interests are adequately safeguarded. Mm. Yeah. At the same time, I also spoke to some of the churchgoers who actually were quite supportive of this move. Oh. So one guy was like, he said basically, um, this is not a random financial investment. Okay. This is a property that we have gone to for years. This is a building that we worship in and basically it's not, not really a random investment. Yeah. And another guy said, you know, even though this is a commercial space, if the church does make any, you know, profits from it, if they put it into charitable causes or into the church missions, then he's okay with that. Oh, so the church goers are actually very supportive yeah. of this. Okay, it's interesting. Thanks for coming on uh, to share more with us. And actually, Yin Han's follow-up is already up on our website. So if you'd like a look, it's available on straightstimes.com.